It was the case that rocked Spokane. Now the woman who led Carl Thompson's jury is breaking her silence about the case. Well, she says the jury saw through the defense team and classified the case as a police cover-up. And today she told KXOI 4's Ian Cole how the jurors felt about Thompson and what tilted them toward that guilty verdict. Well, Mike and Nadine, the jury forewoman, says that she believes that they gave Thompson a fair trial. And she also said this. I thought this was very interesting. After the closing arguments, and they finished the closing arguments, they went back to the room, started the deliberations, took an initial vote, and they were split almost right down the middle. I think it was five. Yeah, I think it was five, no guilty, and undecided. Diane Riley says the jury that found Carl Thompson guilty took its time reviewing evidence, recalling the facts, and viewing replays of surveillance tape. But two key testimonies swayed them toward guilty when Officer Sandy McIntyre and Officer Tim Moses took the stand. His strong response in denial of, I don't recall, I don't recall, I don't recall, um, tipped off that there was more to the story than um, what they wanted us to, what defense wanted us to believe. The jury was also swayed by another question during closing arguments. Was this handled properly if this was your child? Um, and I think that was the turning point. Riley says the jury was also confused about Otto Zem. One juror asked the judge for more information on Zem, but the judge denied the request, citing a pretrial decision to exclude that from the case. Riley and another juror had an idea towards the end. He just didn't fit the profile. And those of us who are sensitive to young people who have mental disabilities could kind of tell. We didn't need to be told. Riley says the jury still made their decision, assuming Zem was not mentally handicapped. And as for Carl Thompson, she says it's hard to judge a person of authority who was admired in his community. But she added everyone must be held accountable, both on the good days and the bad days. For whatever reason, um, Mr. Thompson just lost himself that night and did everything against what he was trained to do. Now, we also asked Riley if she thought that this was a trial by media, which some people have accused the media of. She said that she absolutely disagrees. None of the jurors knew anything about this case before it started. Also, she said that none of the jurors saw any type of news coverage during the trial, which was also uh, mm -hmm. alleged of them by the defense, uh, Thompson's defense attorney. Mm -hmm. And folks at home, if you want to watch the entire raw interview, that is posted on our website. It's KXLY.com.